Yo guys, Brother D, back with another video. I know it's been a long time. I didn't put much content out on the YouTube channel in uh, 2019, but I'm back with another video. I'm not gonna say Happy New Year because we're all the way in February. Um, this particular video was supposed to get you guys in the beginning of January. And I just kept holding off, kept holding off. Um, and I had so, you know, so much to talk about. Um, so, you know, so much excitement um, with the Kobe line. I know I didn't post much about the Pro Trail Kobe 1 and the Pro Trail Kobe 4 that we uh, were fortunate enough to receive last year. Um, but I, the Kobe 5's Pro Trail, for those that don't know, I'm pretty sure, I'm, you know, if you follow this channel, I'm pretty sure you guys do know. Um, but the Chaos drop, that dropped January 3rd. And then uh, even before so, on January 26th, I believe, um, Nike also did uh, a partnership with Nike Basketball and NBA 2K. They collaborated and did another Pro Tro uh, through the game. You had to beat a certain challenge and um, surpass Kobe's Christmas Day record, which is 41, 41 points. You had to top that. And if you link the NBA 2 account with your sneakers account, they'd send you a pair. So, I mean, I was like, you know, 2020, I'm going to give you guys all this content. I'm excited for you guys that follow me. I know you guys know uh, the Kobe 5 is very near and dear to my heart. And I kept saying, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm going to upload this new Mama Monday. You know, my juices was flowing, my heart pumping, the Kobe 5s are coming back. And unlike, you know, the Kobe 4, where we kind of were hoping for all these colorways, we would, you know, we wanted all these co colorways to come out. We were very hopeful. Um, they, I don't want to say they dropped the ball, but they definitely um, could have did a lot more. The Kobe 4 had a lot of potential as well as the Pro Tro 1. So, you know, right out the gate, it's almost like, yo, Nike heard our prayers. They came out the out the gate swinging. They gave us this new colorway with the uh, NBA 2K alternate chaos. Then they, then they brought the chaos back. So it was like, yo, these guys are like, they heard our prayers and they're dropping like this, really the colorways that we really want. And they're giving us a new colorway that's like, you know, enjoyable. It's, you know, it's refreshing and, you know, something that's pretty cool. And then, um, last week we got that news. Um, I don't really want to get too much into it cause, um, it's still hitting me hard. Um, but I had said, you know, I'm, I'm going to make this video on Sunday. And then I'm going to just, you know, start editing and, you know, have you guys a fresh mind on Monday. And I was like, if I don't do it Sunday, I'm definitely going to do it Monday once I get off. And then, you know, have it for you guys fresh mind on Monday. And then obviously I got that news and it kind of just took the life out of me. But I said, you know, I'm going to use this video to share my thoughts on the Kobe 5 um, and get this out to you guys and, you know, talk about what what happens next you know a lot of you guys came to my channel if it, and if it wasn't for kobe i wouldn't have this channel um my kobe i wouldn't have a kobe collection so um definitely want to say um my prayers go out to the bryant family as well as all the other families that were lost um if you're watching this and you for some reason or somehow some way live on the rock and you are not aware uh really quickly uh kobe bryant we lost kobe bryant in a helicopter crash him his daughter Gigi and seven others, including the, the helicopter pilot, of course, in the helicopter crash. Um, so prayers up to the families of all those that were lost. Um, so back to the shoes. We got, for those that did not see them, I, I have them right here. So like I said, December 26th, Nike put a challenge on NBA 2K. You had to... Um, play the play the My Player Nation game on the Christmas the Christmas Day game. You had to play that Christmas Day game, score over forty one points. You did, there was no overall requirement, even though like if you wanted to score um, forty one, you needed excuse me, your guy needed to be fairly good. Or you needed to be fairly good in NBA two K. It wasn't you could just pick it up for the first time, create a guy, and then boom, you're going to beat the challenge and win the shoes. Um, so it took a little bit of effort, a lot of effort, I must say, um, to win those particular shoes. And you, once you beat the account, it, you know you link it with your sneakers app, and you got the shoes. So these are the shoes, and they're and, and they're really just a um, chaos alternate. So it's pretty much like a dark 
or in a way chaos if you can see this um it's gr like you know everywhere it's white where the ca regular similar chaos is white they put gray like a dark gray um but i like these a lot these are very 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 neat um so i was able to get these and it's crazy because i usually go super hard people that know me i go super hard with 2k and not only do I go super hard with 2K, I go super hard with my player. And last year, or the year before, when 2K did the collaboration with Nike for the Paul George Playstations, they did it through my team. And I played, I had never played my team. I always did my player. But I was like, you know, I need these Playstations because the first one was hard to get, so let me just play it. I picked up my team and I got hooked. And I never went back to my player. So... I kept playing my player the last two two Ks. I was playing. Um, sorry, I was playing my team. So this year, I played. A, I played my team. I set up my account. I didn't even play that much. I was really kind of hooked on Madden, but I I bought two K and I was playing it, but more so my team. And then Mikey kind of flipped the script. It was like, now we're gonna put this on my player. So long story short, this is the alternate chaos. You had to get this. You had to play NBA two K. Have your uh, account linked to sneakers app and. You know, Nike's still doing this. So, like, the first pair they did a LeBron pair. That was for open tonight. This pair is for the Christmas. They're doing another one for All-Star. Um, it probably won't be Kobe's. It's probably going to be, I mean, left signature athletes. We have Kyrie. That didn't, they didn't drop one yet. Giannis, um, Paul George, and they're probably going to do a Jordan. My guess um, with All-Star being the next, um, the next release the all-star game is in chicago so i'm guessing they're going to do a jordan probably a jordan 34 um hopefully it's a retro jordan but that's just my guess i could be totally wrong i know they're doing one for the nba finals and i want to say they're doing one more right before the nba finals but uh this is the alternate case so like you know they introduced the pro tro they brought this colorway back and i'm like yo they're really like they're really like they're on to something and then obviously the pictures of the regular chaos came out um and, and and I'm frustrated with Nike, and it's not it's not really a big deal, but it's like I had an opportunity to really get us, you know the the chaos, the original chaos, the white chaos, that released, and it's normally back in um, 09 when it released, um, it released on Christmas, and they dropped it in January, so I was like ah, that kind of was depressing, especially when they dropped the LeBron, uh, the Christmas LeBron Seven this year. They retroed it well, 2019 Christmas. They dropped it in Christmas, you know, right, right in time for Christmas. So to see them drop it in 2020, even though it was maybe only a week and a couple of days after Christmas, still was like, yo, you guys should have just took advantage and dropped it right around Christmas time, so we can really get that OG retro feel because it was a Christmas shoe. Uh, anywho, this is it right here. This is the Pro Tro. Chaos right here. Let you guys check that out. Um, everything's similar. I know um, in terms of the um, performance aspects, they uh, switched it up very, very minorly. Uh, some say these run a little snugger than the last ones, and unfortunately, that you know these, these are probably not sitting anywhere for you guys to try them on. Um, I stay true to size. Um, the same size that you know, the same size I wear with my regular original retro fives I, I got this size, so i got my thirds i got a size 13 um but this is it right here um i hope you guys like my new setup you know you guys used to me at a table with a white wall in the background or a, a white wall with a poster in the background so this is uh my sneaker room which is under construction so i'm definitely doing a little bit of work on that I'm gonna get my kobe posters and my Lakers stuff all up here but this is like one side of the room there's a whole nother side of shoes here but this is the White Chaos, and this is the alternate Chaos, the 2K exclusive, NBA 2K20 exclusive. I just want to let that, you know, be known so you guys don't try to hook up or link your account to like just any old 2K that you have laying around. Though It has to be 2K20, and you have to link your accounts prior to playing any game. Make sure you link your accounts, guys. If you have any issues, contact Nike, Nike support, 2K support. They'll definitely help you guys out. So these are the two pro shows right here. Got them back to back. I was able to get them, um, which was um, very happy um, to get both. If I had to pick one, very hard because I, I definitely like both colorways. The original is, you know, it, with anything, the original is always better. 
Um, but you can't go wrong with the, the 2K pair. But these are like, I love these beforehand. And like, just to have them again was just like even better for me. Um, if you look through the background, I got some of my pairs out because I've been like Kobe all week. Uh, for like the like the last like week and a half, so I have like Concord sixes here. I have Chinas right here. Uh, Hyper Dunks right there. Um, got these over here. This Kobe's is kind of like all over the place. I got these over here. So uh, also got my jerseys in the background. I got a jersey on right here. Rapping Kobe. Rapping Kobe. Uh, strong to the Kobe community. I know obviously it's a big, big loss. And if you've seen my post on Instagram, um, you saw my post on Instagram, I, I pretty much shared my feelings and how this uh, loss affect me. We lost a, a, a great human being, a great basketball player, an idol to some, a mentor, a hero. Um, so with that being said, the Kobe five, you know, we're, we're, we're right in the heart of the pro tro um, line right now. The five, um, one of the most uh, beloved uh, models in the Kobe line. So with this big loss, my questions and I know your questions as I'm speaking on this and as the news is um, trickling out in the sneaker world and, and, you know, the media with Kobe, with Kobe's the, the passing of Kobe. Um, you know, what happens next. So I don't know how, how his structure, uh, the structure of his contract is. I don't know if like they can keep releasing new models. So we'll, if we'll see new models, if they have the permission to retro everything, I don't know. And I know, um, I remember a while back we saw them, um, when Kobe did the unveiling of a model, I think it was like the seven or the eight. And he has said they had already had four models in advance done, whatever. I think it was like, we have to the Kobe 11, um, done and this was like four shoes prior like the seven or the eight so for all we know he may have models already done him and and the part that is um that raises so much of a question is we know kobe is really big on performance and not even just big on performance we know that he has he loves to have a hand in his shoes like he, he likes to to be at the table with nike and and, and pick and choose and, and give his input so with him obviously not being here what direction does nike take like do they do you release more shoes do you just retro everything do you just flood the market and restock everything or just you know retro one through 11 do you bring you know just bring everything back what, what do you do <clears throat> and obviously i'm i don't work for nike so i'm not I'm, I'm very unaware um what type of arrangement they may have or what type of uh, details may be in his contract. So that's definitely interesting to see as these next couple days and weeks um, go by because you might have seen the uh, the other colorway that was coming out, the Big Stage Parade um, mix. And that's the Big Stage Kobe 5, the Away, the Home, and the Parades. Kobe wore the Big Stage Home and Aways in the NBA Finals against Boston in 2010. And then in the parade, he wore a special pair that never released. So the big stage home in a way, those released at retailers in 2010 and the parades never released. They were like a personal pee that he wore just in the parade. I want to say he wore them in Disneyland as well. Um, so just to see where that goes and what happens next with that, definitely interested to see because I, you know, as far as I heard, I heard rumblings that they're going to pause the release. I heard some rumblings that, you know, they may push the date back. So and just a lot of different news that's happening. So definitely stay tuned. I want to try to uh, continue to um, pump content out and, and give you guys some type of um, updates. So you guys can follow my Instagram, B-R-O-T-H-A underscore D. I'm on Twitter, underscore B-R-O-T-H-A underscore D. I'm also here, obviously, on YouTube. You guys can find me. Um, big loss that we definitely take. Um, the one thing I can say is um, keep praying and, you know, just just remember all the good memories that we had. Kobe, a lot of good memories, a lot of sneaker memories, basketball memories, um, off the court memories. Just, you know, keep those near and dear to you. Um, hug your family a, a lot closer. 
um because you know this is a hard time for everybody especially you that looked up to him and that's it guys i'll see you guys next time you guys take care peace